Yeah, so um, as of this morning, it got announced that the uh, Super Rugby domestic competition um, was suspended at the 2nd of May. So uh, we brought our, our football program together. Um, I gave them a briefing of the situation and also um, obviously that we're facing some unprecedented times and the environment's ever changing at the moment. So we went through a whole range of, of matters. Uh, we had our team doctor speak about uh, the importance of health and safety during these times. Our GM, Sam Cordingly, spoke um, about the football program and what's required around training. Obviously Brad and, and our SNC team spoke about the importance of staying you know, connected to each other during this, this time. You know, staying resilient and um, you know working, working with each other. Um, I think importantly, these moments are a test of your culture, and I've been very impressed with the way you know our organisation, our, our staff, our players, our coaching group have stuck by each other in these hard times. So we'll find a way through. You know, we've been here as an organisation since 1882, and you know I can um, guarantee that we'll continue to, to push hard and work hard for the game at all levels. Um, so. Yeah, that's, that's basically the, the, the content of today and the training will be suspended for two weeks and the players have been given a program to work, um, work in isolation around their own skill development and strength development during that time. Yeah, we just got called in today obviously about the, the COVID-19 uh, pandemic, uh, just with the way it's affecting you know, our business and our, our footy and uh, mainly as well just how to keep everyone safe and their families safe. Um, you know, so our doc spoke today and, um, you know, just told us about the measures we need to take to ensure that we're doing everything we can, especially around hand hygiene to, um, you know, avoid contracting the disease. Um, and then, you know, we just spoke with our, with um, Dave, the CEO, and, and Sam around how it's going to affect our day to day. So at the moment, you know, we're going to have to go away for two weeks and do our own sort of training and stuff um, and make sure that as a group we stay tight and keep looking after each other. and. Um, you know, implement what the government's sort of recommending, but at the same time, um, you know, we've got to stay fit and it involves a bit of discipline. Um, same time, it's a good opportunity for us to actually, you know, work on ourselves a bit, you know, try and do some reading, some learning. Um, some boys are doing uni courses, which they can get a bit of a leg up on. Um, and, you know, after seven seven rounds and a pre-season, there's going to be some niggles, which is a good opportunity for boys to, to work on and fix up at the moment too.